Hi everyone, here's a quick look at the bank holiday weekend forecast. A glance through the synoptic charts and then we'll show you some additional rainfall maps in a moment. We've got a warm front moving in from the Atlantic. A broad zone of low pressure is going to extend in and give a rather poor picture for many places over the course of the extended weekend. For Saturday, low cloud and rain is moving into the western side of Scotland. Ahead of that, there should be some cloud breaks to higher tops. And across much of England and Wales, you'll stay broadly dry all the way through the day. But some rain will edge in from the northwest later on. The wind at least relatively light for most places on Saturday. Temperatures nothing too special across the highlands, a little bit warmer across England and Wales. By Sunday, a cold front will be moving southeastwards. That will bring some rain for a few hours to England and Wales. Brightening skies following that. It may take a while for the full clearance to get into Wales, but cloud bases should lift and there should be some breaks developing towards higher tops. A wraparound of a front, though, which trails back across the highlands is likely to give rain and low cloud across the hills for much of the day. It's a slow-moving feature. The precise detail open to a bit of question, but some places in for a rather poor day. A bluster westerly wind across England and Wales uh, around 30-35 miles per hour. Much lighter winds though in the centre of the low across Scotland. Again temperatures are rather on the cool side. Now for Bank Holiday Monday, low pressure is in charge. There's something of a front tangled across the country where this is around. There could be rain for a good many hours. Away from that, it will be a story of showers. Now that will give the risk of some slow moving bursts in the centre of the low across Scotland where winds are light. They'll move through a bit more quickly on a westerly breeze across England and Wales. Generally, temperatures again are on the cool side. Just to run the rainfall sequence through the weekend, this is off one of the computer models. Always then keep up to date with your latest forecast for precise information. For Saturday morning, it starts off dry for many, but rain is already knocking on the door of Western Scotland, and that will turn heavier and more persistent across many Western mountains through the course of the afternoon. Maybe not amounting to too much across the far north and only patchy towards the Cairngorms, but many places turning wet even into the southern uplands later on in the afternoon. And outbreaks of rain too, moving into Cumbria across the North Pennines, not too much towards the Peak District and hardly anything for Wales, but there may just be patchy drizzly rain turning up across the western side of Snowdonia. That rain will tend to fade, but it's still on and off at least into the night and greater amounts of rain then come back from the west by the time we get to dawn on Sunday. Some heavy falls then early in the day across Scotland. That will be passing eastwards, so rain for a few hours, moving across England and Wales as well. The front that we were showing on the previous charts trails back across Scotland to give uh, rather a persistently wet day in many places. The precise detail of that is open to question. Onwards into uh, Sunday evening and night, uh, it's still patchy rain across Scotland. That front has not really gone anywhere and it'll still be around into the early part of Monday. Some showers coming into the western side of England and Wales, a zone of rain somewhere across central and southern Scotland. And it's then that legacy of slow moving showers. So expect rain to be around for many places on Bank Holiday Monday. Not a particularly sparkling looking day at this point. We'll have a usual longer range planning outlook video with the thoughts for the next week to 10 days updated later this Friday afternoon. Keep right up to date as always every single day with your local forecasts on our website and stay up to date with us as well on social media. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.